Kyrie Irving, no disrespect to you or your family. Um, this decision is yours. I have no problem with it. Do as you please. My only thing is, Kyrie, you signed the contract. You know, we as people, not 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 put no color in here. There's no no need for the color. This is business we're talking about. As people, when we do business with somebody and there's a transaction and we both sign the form, both of us are obligated to hold up our end of the bargain. If the Brooklyn Nets are willing to pay you for half of the games that you are going to, you're supposed to be president. The least you can do is show them the same respect. I'm not expecting you to move on my timeline. I'm not the one paying you. I can care less what timeline you're moving on. But as long as you're having conversations with the with the the Brooklyn Nets, I'm all Gucci. I'm not out here to assassinate your character. I can care less whether you get the jab or not. Do you know what I mean? It's your life, your decision. I'm just saying, if you're playing a team sport, you're not really being a good teammate right now. You know, everybody else got it. What's your What's your excuse? You know, and the whole thing with the whole voiceless and stuff like that. I mean, <clears throat> let me be very clear when I say this, okay, Kyrie? You left Cleveland because LeBron was the problem. You went to Boston. I don't know why you left Boston. You asked him to, to take you in, but you left Boston. You went to Brooklyn with KD. And it seems like when it comes down to the success of a team, you're not the key ingredient anymore. But that's just my personal opinion. I mean, you are one of the ingredients to bake up the cake, but if I didn't have that ingredient, I could still make a pretty good cake. And I think that's what, where I'm at with you now, Kyrie. You're a great uh -huh. player, superstar, but that's as far as I'm going with that joint. What's your thoughts, LaVinch? Well, I'll say he's one of the best ingredients in the damn cake. That's what I'm going to say. Um, you can ask LeBron James. <laughs> um, you can ask LeBron James. You can ask the Warriors. Kyrie, Kyrie is the man. Um, but, you know, listen, I've touched on this subject so many times, and it's never for me to sit up here and tell a man what to do and when a man is uh, has a deep feeling about something, you know? And he believes in something. Um, it's never my place to say. So with that, I'm just going to respect the man's decision. Um, but there's certain things, like you alluded to, that's, you know, it's, this is not an individual sport where you can just, you know, right? This is not an individual sport. This is not like it's UFC or something. You know, where you can just do whatever the hell you want like that. This is a team sport and the rest of these men were dependent on you. And also, from what I've learned, um, the Nets, the Brooklyn Nets organization had confirmed to him that he never had to get it. Right? Hold on. So they didn't have the mandate of the vaccines right away. So he was told Hey, mm -hmm. you're not gonna have to take it right away. You you should be able to play. Everything will be good, right? But uh, as we see, that's not the case. So yet again, me and Da Vinci, we respect your decision, Kyrie. We're not here to bash you, but I am here to. We are here to to agree that there is business here. This is a business decision, and I know that now they're intertwined. You know, life and business right now because of the pandemic has been intertwined yes but yeah like last you, year you disappeared without telling your team where you was going they have videos but, of you partying without a mask on seems like you feel like because uh you're a superstar you can just do whatever the heck you want in a team sport as much as i, I hate lebron i think i think that's the key word foolishness things man i think that's the key word we keep going back on right team sport right team i think that's the key word when we're having this conversation that uh that needs to pop out team yeah um and to be fair king um would we be talking listen 
if it was somebody else, because there's a few more players that's not really vaccinated or, you know, whatever is going on, but it's because of the track record that Mr. Kyrie has had. That's why it, it's, it's such a bigger deal. Like you were alluding to, you know, take time off, didn't address the team about that and all of that stuff. It's the history. It's the history, the track record, why it's so much bigger right now. Yes, and also this, I want to make this very clear. I used to watch First Take. I used to love First Take. I mean, I'm talking about when it was Skip and uh, Stephen A. Snitch, okay? And then when it was Max and Stephen A. Snitch, I was still enjoying it a little bit. And since he's removed Max, I think he has a real problem with his security in life. Because for him to come on TV and attack Kyrie the way that he did who is Stephen A. Oh, it's oh yeah, that buster. Yeah that, yeah, that buster. That buster. Hold on, hold on. You see the thing though, this is not new. This is man has been doing. No, this no, he attacks a one. lot of people. Yeah, he, he. That's the thing though. He's been doing. He can't come here and he can't he, intelligent conversations. Most of the times, he's trying to put people down with his point. He's got to make a point, but he can't yeah. make a point properly communicating. You know, he's got to say some ignorant or just trying to put you down. And every one of his co-hosts, you see, you do it. Finish your statement. Just know, you know, I get hated when um, it comes to this guy. No, I, I, don't you, like, I, feel I don't you. like him at all. You know, listen, I, I don't blame you. Um, I just want to make this very clear. It, I don't care where you work, what you do for a living, okay? When you're wrong, you're wrong. When you're right, you're right. That's it. I'm, I'm not going to try to split hairs. But when you have a platform that they have, the last thing you want to be doing is trying to deflate or stain somebody's character without all the information. You know, John Gruden sent out a lot of nasty emails. Yeah. Go ahead and take a number two on them on TV. Everybody knows what's going on. He used to work for the company that, you, that you're employed by. Take a number two on him. But Kyrie, like, excuse me, the fact that Molly Karam came out and said he's a hypocrite, you know, I just, I don't have time for it anymore. I don't, I really don't even pay attention to first take anymore. Especially Just, after like, before when Max got removed, I was like, uh, and then after that, they went a whole week trying to assassinate this guy's character. Mm-hmm. Whole week. Come on, man. He's not the only NBA player. There's 95, 95% of them are vaccinated. The other 5% aren't. Yeah. Kyrie's the only so Kyrie's the five percent y'all talking about. Yeah, that's the only one. That's the only one. That's the only one. Um, like you said, there's no there's no need for it the way they, they choose to speak down on people, especially Mr. Smith. Um, I mean, for years and years I've been saying this, you know this. I was like, I do not appreciate this guy. Not one bit, because all he does is put people down, he talks people down. You know, and he sits there and he acts like he's such a big, bad, tough guy. Just the way he talks is like, what are you doing? Are you trying to fight somebody? Are you trying to make a point and talk sports? Yeah. So Kool-Aid, I see, I see your point. So I'm going to read out what Kool-Aid said. He says, if people don't want to get the vaccine, if they play a game and someone gets COVID, then, you know, five mil and see who's uh, who gets the vaccine or retire and let somebody else play. That is very true, Kool-Aid. The thing is, for me, I'm not even trying to go at Kyrie like that. I'm just saying, you sign an agreement. You have a business deal. You are obligated to hold up your end of the deal. Kool-Aid, when you go to work, they pay you to do what you're doing, right? If you have to miss a day, okay. But imagine you not calling in and not showing up for a week and expecting to still have your job. It's not going to work. Yeah. Your political views are your political views, but they didn't hire you for your political views. They hired you for the specialty and the skill set that you have for that position. That's what they need you for. You should never, nobody should ever look at these companies and think that they're doing wrong because they're not always supporting people. Listen, they don't hire you for support. They hire you for a job. I know I sound hypocritical saying this, but it's just the, it's the, it's the, the rule of the land. It's, it's just the truth. There's no ifs, ands, and buts about it. And the fact that Kyrie is making this this situation bigger than what it needs to be, actually, sorry, I'm going to take that back. Kyrie's not making it. 
the media is making it bigger than what it needs to be. Because you know what's funny? I'm going to give you all a little thing about the NFL. Josh Allen isn't vaccinated. How come, they, how come they're not crucifying him? Damn, right? Damn, right? Wow, Being that's crazy. Not va- there's, there's a bunch of players in other leagues, and even in f- fighters that aren't vaccinated. So why is Kyrie just the biggest thing? Oh, because he's the easiest one to target. And I understand no, why. And I know I, I'm going on this super long diatribe. Bear with me, people. Go ahead and give me some questions. Or give us some questions in the comments. But um, I understand part of the reason why they don't like Kyrie. And it's obvious. He does it all the time. He acts like he's the smartest person in the room. He calls the media puppets. He don't like the media. The earth is flat. Like, come on, man. How much stuff? How much of this stuff do you expect me to take serious from you? You know what I'm saying? And then you want to tell me you want to be the voice for the voiceless? Boy, you got $250 million in your bank account. You can tell them you don't want to get vaccinated. You good. Those other people who are losing their jobs, they, they can't make that, that, that same decision. Some of them have to take that vaccine to keep food on the freaking on the table. So Kyrie, you can miss me with all that garbage talking about you're doing it for the people. Bro, stop it, man. Okay, I see you do good, great things for people. You you made sure there was water in, in India. You know, you try to help you help out the George F- Floyd family. And I know you, you do a lot of things on the side, outside to help people. I'm not saying that, but you know what I mean? Just say you don't want to take the vaccine because you don't feel it's safe and leave it at that. That's it. Wait, is it the king? King, and this is what I'm going to listen. This is where I got I to gotta disagree with you a little bit. The man said he doesn't want the vaccine. And that's it. It was in. But King, the point here, a lot of people are missing. He doesn't want to take the vaccine. And I think he's very comfortable not taking the vaccine. But yes, there's a point also where it's a business deal. And you have to uphold your hand on the business deal. Right? So if he's not going to get paid, I think he's going to be fine. Right? If they don't pay him. No, cool. They're, they're going to pay him for half the games of the season. So right there, they're already trying to you know, meet him halfway. Yep. They're not asking him to be fully vaccinated. They're asking for one shot. My guy, go put on a fake arm or whatever. Not like you got the shot. Get the papers. Listen, I know people out here that got the fake vaccine papers. How the heck you got all this money? You can't get no fake vaccine paper. Oh, wait. You know why he can't get no fake vaccine paper? Because the league wants to sit there and watch him get the shot. That's what it is. Because they know Kyrie out here lying about things. And well, you know, sus. Like, well, the point I was trying to make is the man doesn't want to take it. And I think if it wasn't Kyrie, it wouldn't be such a big of a deal. But it, it's because the media has a thing out for him because he don't like the media. He doesn't give a crap about the media. Sometimes yeah. I really I, I really can't blame him on that because there's certain media outlets and personnel that are, they're just not true to their craft, you know? Um, so, you know, I, I think it, because like you just named, I did not know Josh Allen. I thought everybody in the NFL was vaccinated. I did not know that. So that was a shocker to me. Like, I'm still buzzing. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then Cam just gets, okay. All right. Cool. Thank you all for listening. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And to all the people out here watching, stay cool, stay frosty, stay in tune with Bob Sports. Y'all have a wonderful evening.